Hi, welcome again to 5-Minute Revit. Today, tips and tricks is about a wall tag, how to create a wall tag. Uh, in our example, it's a wall. We, You can apply this uh, example for a uh, door, uh, windows, other uh, category in Revit, but uh, most of asked question how to create uh, a, a wall tag. Let's see how it works. I have this uh, uh, file uh, open with uh, just only a wall uh, uh, model here. Uh, I go in a new uh, to open uh, a family to create a new family and go to family then I go to to choose uh, to choose a template to start with and I go for uh, annotation and generic tag okay we will start with the generic tag and then we change the category this I, I get out of this and uh, I will uh, I will uh, change the category in here and then uh, go to make it uh, a wall tag okay a wall tag okay now I will draw a symbol uh, to have the uh, to have the parameter inside I go to line and I create a rectangle oh that's uh, so big couple of time let's make it in here five units that one also five units and then I will move that in the center in here and then I will move that in the center in here and then I will go to create and line then i choose in here fillet arc and let's uh, make it two for example this one also in here in two units and this one two units we just have as example yeah, that's a nice shape. Then I go to label and place a label in here. Go for searching a type mark, okay? A type mark. You can have a share parameter if you want. Let's put it a mark. I don't know why he's... Okay, let's... Uh, well, yeah, type mark. Let's keep type mark. But you, you are free. You can choose where you want to uh, put the information, which parameter. And then I will select this one and maybe edit type and make it uh, 1.75. That makes sense. And then I save it as an exercise wall tag. Wall tag. Uh, let's put uh, in here prefix. Let's see M N like a company symbol and load it in the project. Now I go to annotate and I go to tag by category. And now if I come here, I click in here this is my wall tag escape and I can select in here and I have uh, uh, sorry I select in here edit and add let's add a, in here this tick mark and then if I go to wall in here edit type and I go to the type mark in here and I name it like for example a uh, wall type 01 okay you see here now maybe this maybe the uh, the text is a big we can add that we can edit that we select that edit maybe I change that one let's let's see uh, let's make a, a bigger 
Okay, let's say go in line. Let's make something like that. Okay, and make it equal. Make it equal. Okay, and get back again. Create this one. We repeat that, but no problem with that. That's a uh, repetition is uh, the mother of learning. That's gonna help us to have more chance uh, to got the idea. Et voilà, I love that in a project, override existing, and now there is something like that, okay? And now I can move it like that or like that. If I, for example, let's uh, create another another wall. Sorry, architecture wall. Uh, let's see this wall type. Okay. Now, if I click on TG tag, let's do it like that. Et voilà. Now I select it here, this one I name it wall02, yes, and now if I select the wall, I go edit, and now you see here the type mark of this wall. I hope this video helped you to understand how to use, uh, how to create a wall tag and load it inside the project. Thank you, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get the latest tips and tricks in Reddit. Thank you.